here is my three-year-old daughter's hair and in this video i'm going to be showing you how i make this shampoo that i use for her hair which promotes hair growth and helps with growth retention watch it till the end so that you see how i use it for her hair to make it really effective come with me So I'm going to be using this African black soap. You can make use of any black soap you can lay your hands on. You can use dudu also or any kind of black soap. So I crushed the black soap into pieces. Then I poured boiled water, freshly boiled water on it. Then I'm going to cover this and let it sit for a while until all the soap becomes dissolved and really soft. So next I'll be using this pot with clean water in it and I'm going to be pouring in my rosemary. I have the dry one so that's what I'm going to be using. Rosemary is helpful for hair growth. It prevents hair follicles from being starved of blood supply because it promotes circulation. It improves scalp health and combats dandruff. It strengthens the strands and promotes thicker looking hair. So I'm going to bring this to boil and after, I'm going to let it boil for about four to five minutes. Then I'm going to, before it cools, I'm going in with my amla powder. Amla is rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. It raises the level of sebum production, which can help get rid of dandruff and scalp itchiness. It promotes hair growth and nourishes the hair. It strengthens the hair and makes it resistant to dryness. It acts as an excellent toner for the hair, meaning that it improves the color of your hair. So I'm going to stir this, but I'm not going to put it back to boil. I'm just going to leave it to cool. And this is what I have after it cools down. So I'm draining the water out of it, and I'm going to be doing this the second time because of the amla powder in it i don't want any particles stuck in my hair so i'm going to go over the one i just trained the water i just trained and i'm going to sieve it into another bowl yeah this is what i have here right you see that particle that came out of it now back to our black soap that i soaked earlier guys note that it wasn't completely dissolved i had to use my fingertips to dissolve all the lumps all the small small it wasn't much though the small small lumps in it i had to use my teeth the tip of my finger to dissolve them next i'm going to be going in with my honey honey adds moisture to the hair follicles it's naturally smooth the hair shaft and restore shine and luster to frizzy, dry and curly or dull hair. It helps seal in moisture to prevent future moisture loss and it contains antioxidants and nutrients that improve overall health of the hair and the scalp wellness. It helps rejuvenize dormant follicles, encouraging voluminous hair. Now this is my melted butter, shea butter. So I'm going to be using two tablespoons of the melted shea butter. Shea butter's benefits cannot be overemphasized, guys. It protects your hair and scalp from heat and UV damage, and it locks moisture into your hair because it is full of fatty acid and vitamins, which helps hydrate your hair. Now I'm going in with my extra virgin olive oil. This is a great natural oil that is packed with beneficial nutrients for your hair. And now I'm going in with my coconut oil. Coconut oil helps protect against styling damage. It restores luster to dry and damaged air, and it relieves dandruff. Now I'm going to be going in with my vitamin E capsules, and I'm going to be making use of two capsules. Vitamin E oil contains supplements that improves hair growth. It treats split hand and prevents hair loss. Now I'm going in with my tea tree oil. You can use any essential oil of your choice. Now I'm using like 12 drops of tea tree oil. Essential oils, like the name implies, are really essential for your hair growth, for your overall hair health. They help accelerate hair growth and help get shiny hair. It improves 
hair appearance and prevent hair loss now i'm going to give this a good stir and guys i need you to know that black soap tend to dry out your hair you can use black soap as your shampoo without putting essential oil and other carrier oils and yeah i forgot to mention that i used a tablespoon of glycerin is it glycerin or glycerin you know what i'm talking about so now i'm going to be transferring this our shampoo into this bottle see as much as i have with the little products that i made use of so i'm going to transfer the remaining into a smaller bottle and this is going to last us a couple of wash myself and my daughter at least this one in the bottle look as little as it is is going to last okay this one in the small bottle will be enough for us for one wash each now let's put to use this amazing herbal shampoo please remember that every single time you want to make use of this shampoo you give it a gentle shake so that the oil and the water based ingredients that we use are going to mix together because if you don't mix it if you don't shake it you are going to be either making use of the oil on the top because when water and oil settle they tend to separate so you are probably going to be making use of the oil on top so it is very important that you give it a gentle shake before you use it every single time you want to use it so when i use this to wash her hair i make sure that i gently scrub her scalp from front to back i gently scrub it and i make sure i do this for a while and this is so that the scalp is stimulated and ready to absorb all the nutrients in the product we are using. I tend to use this to buy time and you can see that I'm washing her hair from the root, like from the scalp because the product build up is more on the scalp than the tip of the hair. So I start by scrubbing and massaging her scalp before washing it to the tip of the hair. I do all this to buy time so that the hair gets all the nutrients in the product. Of course, if it's me using the shampoo, I let it sit for a while in my hair before rinsing it off. But she being a child, I need to do this because I don't want it to be left in her hair while she plays in the house and also I just do this to make sure the hair is well massaged and all of that. So I give I rinse that out and I'm giving it a second wash. You see how clear. And guys, do you notice how foamy this shampoo is? Even with the amount of oils that was put into it, it's still really foamy and it washes really clean. The second wash is not necessary if your hair is not really dirty because it gives you a thorough wash even for one wash. So I'm just doing this because her hair was really dirty as um not really dirty but i did um oil treatment for her the day before so her hair was really oily and i needed to do a second wash now let's give her hair a closer look the hair is thoroughly washed it is cleaned and guys it feels so soft and lush god the light in this bathroom is not doing justice to the hair guys you need to try this shampoo and come back here to give me a review okay and make sure you use it consistently now i'll be using my homemade leave-in conditioner for her hair and this leave-in conditioner is so lovely i'll be dropping the tutorial soon so please subscribe to the channel if you have not thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video bye